I think they've helped the show a lot. Um, and it has helped, you know, like get people done. Writer's program. room leader Brian Dunn sent $10 here for Rosie's B-Day. Get her a small toddler slide, bro. My daughter loved hers. Reminder that Brain Hollow Man is four things. Hess a liar. Hess a fraud. Hess a F slur. And Hess a piece you know of what? shit. You know what, Brian? I don't know if that's really you, but um, I never call CPS on your child. And the fact that you said that, and I'm not even going to get like mean towards you, especially since if that's you, you gave me $10. I've seen you donate before, though. I know you really have donated because I've seen your name on there for real. But I did not call CPS on your fucking child, dude. Uh, and would not and would never. I didn't call Fat Fucks Church, and that's been confirmed since then either as well. So I just want to let you know I would not do that. In all offense, maybe this is to my shame. Even if I thought there was something going on, I wouldn't fucking call CPS. I don't fucking call the police unless it involves me. And somebody trying to fuck with me And then I might call the police That's it Otherwise I'm staying the fuck out of police business So I don't know if you st if you actually believe that Or Thought that was true Or whatever But I never fucking did that ever Or if you just made it up or whatever But that didn't happen That did not happen I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I just want to say that also. God was saying, these people think that happened. That did not happen at all. I heard the news. You were laying on your deathbed, but I tried to refuse. And this was going to be the last time before started to cry. So I just want to be very clear. I would not ever do that. And haven't done it in some, some cases where I thought I could have done it on my own, actually. So... Man, you know what? I could talk about Brian Dunn, but y'all wouldn't even. It wouldn't even be. I don't think it'd be. Y'all don't want me. Do y'all want me to do a decade old segment? See, the thing about it is now I've been broadcasting so long, is I can just do lore segments from like ten years ago. Off the top of my head. Not that I was all right. I fuck with King of Paul too hard. I'm not gonna lie. I will say one thing. I was, I didn't lie about him, and I didn't fucking call anybody on him, and I didn't fucking do any of the other shit he said. But I went at him too hard. I went at him way too hard. I went at him way too hard. I went at him way too hard. I, I want to be real. If that's really Brian Dunn, I, I honestly. Writer's room leader Bri Bri sent three dollars not involved Gator and KF people. It's been settled. You're good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'd actually like to have a chat sometime. Maybe we'll have you on sometime. Cause nobody has more people don't understand. Me and this guy they don't understand at all. That me and this guy basically uh are like a couple and I'll give him credit too of the innovators of what you're watching right now uh, and just in general. Um, like, all that Gamergate shit basically started all this shit. Um, but, no, I did, I did not. I did not do that. I did go really hard, though. And so, I shouldn't have brought Sarah on like that. I, I brought his, I brought his ex-fiance on and, like, went, like, full... Springer mode and you know I felt like he deserved it at the time I'm still not sure he didn't but I still feel bad about it because it's like now it's like man that doesn't mean shit like what the fuck um me and King of Paul basically were like two of the pillars of Gamergate that like actually kept it running every day like, not kidding. Because King of Paul would do his streams every day, and I would do my blogs every day. Now, Jim was doing streams and shit, but, like, you know, his usual lazy self. It was really me and this nigga keeping Gamergate running. I'm not kidding, by the way. He can tell you. Maybe one day we'll talk about it. And Jade. Jade was, 
you know, put her shit out every morning, but like Medicare wasn't doing shit. Well, I will say that I don't want to let my hatred for him now color my objectivity. It's not that he wasn't doing shit. It's that he wasn't. The Far more were the daily King of Paul streams. Uh, that kept that shit going. That's what kept the shit going more than anything were the daily King of Paul streams. And he knows that. I was on there shooting head was on there. Like all these niggas were on here like talking shit to each other. I mean, like, not necessarily, like, mean shit. I just mean, like, fucking Frederick Brennan, like, it was like a daily salon. That's kind of what I, I want to try to get going again here. Uh, and I think we've been pretty successful with it. But, of course, the kill stream itself, we have guests and debates and stuff. But um, I was introduced to live streaming by King of Pole. Um, and so, I don't know. When I heard, you know what? I heard him say a lot of shit about me. I heard him say I contacted my wife when, <laughs> my ex-wife. I'm sure my current wife loves it every time I say that. My ex-wife, <clears throat> when she was 17, which is not true, uh, and she said not is not true. Now, I fuck some 18-year-olds, bro. I'm not going to sit here. I don't fucking shy away from that. And I don't give a fuck. Uh, 18 and up, I'm all with. Now, you can sit here and say that's fucked up. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. Now, it ended up, you know, being stupid as fuck. <laughs> it ended up being really dumb. <laughs> To think like that. Um, but. <laughs> but no. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't groom them. I don't talk to them beforehand. Nora was dating some Canadian fucking right wing. I could actually probably find the guy if I looked hard enough. Some right wing. He's actually like. He ran for political office in Canada. And I took her away from him. Because I was just more. I mean. I was me. And then he would never come see her either. And I was like, oh, I'm coming to see you. I didn't have the money, dude. I was making $500 a month. I took out a credit card so I would have the credit to buy the ticket to go see her. That's how it was. You understand? Like, I was like, oh, I'm not about, for, because I'd always decried, like, e-relationships and said they were gay. I was like, I'm not doing an e-relationship. I'm coming to see you. Like, no, nah, it wasn't right away, but uh, we started dating officially in August, and it was and it was December thirtieth. I was there hitting it, so um, you know, that's not a very chivalrous way to tell the story. Um, but you know, that's what. That's what I was about. I'm not. I'm not about this. I'm not about this bullshit e relationship. Nah, nah. You better get your plans ready. Okay, you can. You know what? I give you those. I give you four months. Like I had. I felt like if it's not because if it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. And she was. I mean, y'all don't understand. She was. She was ten years younger than me. A full ten. And so, also, it's like, well, if this young chick is playing with me, I'm not getting played around with very long. Writer's room leader Bri Bri sent $3 ill chat with perspicacity, and we can talk off air about things. I appreciate the apology. You never were talking so. to underage people from what me and Gator BFK really were hated back you. In the day. Most of our beef was fabricated by KF and Gator to get us to fight. Gator thought you wanted to take his spot, which I never even thought you did like i didn't even understand yeah let's talk sometime for real i appreciate you saying that and i do apologize for going i went a little too hard you know what i did i mean it's not like i have to apologize but i just feel like it was too much I, like i don't know it was just too much it was too much to bring her in and start saying all that shit it's all the same shit 
people do to me now. So like, I can't sit here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was it was a little too much. It was a little too much to, to bring her in and and go as hard as I did. Now I felt like I had reason the time, but I don't know, man. Time heals not all wounds, but some. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we could have a have a chat on that. I feel like Gator was afraid. Well, Gator knows your way better than him. That's the other thing. If I would have had King of Paul on the on the kill stream, we probably would have made more money. <laughs> Gator sucks dick. Are you serious? Like literally, everybody Gator was like the cold take. Literally, Gator was like the get up and take a piss guy for the kill stream. That's what Gator was. Gator was the, uh, hold on, I gotta take a piss. Uh, sorry. I'll be back. I'll be back. Gator was the, I, I gotta take a piss guy. That's who he was. That's exactly who he fucking was. And that's who he is now. I don't talk to, to Zidane, but we don't have any issues whatsoever. Never said any crosswords. We've had a couple back, like a little interaction here or there uh, when my mom passed, and um, I think there might have been one other um, or, or not. I don't remember. Uh, and then there was like a tweet or so. I don't, But I don't talk to him on the daily. Of course, Gator tries to bring him up all the time, and even though he doesn't talk to Gator either from my understanding. Um, you know, Gator tries to use him as a, like a propaganda tool. Gator's a sick fuck, dude. Gator belongs in a fucking nurse ratchet type facility. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.